we will fix it. Problem we have. We might not be able to balance a budget that's as big as $24.5 million. We cannot do that on our own. But I will tell you, only in a few days, we have been able to make fundamental changes, fundamental decisions, as we said when we were campaigning. And in those few days, yes, believe it or not, we have reduced it by about a million and a half. Some would say that's not a lot. Well, let's see which one of you can do it in 40 days. We did it. Yes. And we're ready to do it. Any endeavors, as you might call it, or any job, any project, um, I would say very few can be done by one person and one person alone. It usually requires a group of people to do it. And I would be remiss if I don't express my gratitude not only to former speaker Finneran, yes, some of you might be surprised, former speaker Demacy and our current speaker, DeLeo, not only for their support, but also for the words of wisdom, when I seek those words of wisdom and for the guidance. <laughs> I always say that when you believe in being loyal, you believe in loyalty, uh, that, that's a great thing. That's a great quality uh, that a human, or I would say one of the best qualities that a, a human being can exhibit. And if you're going to shy away because your friends to whom you owe a great sense of loyalty might have some kind of difficulty, uh, then you don't know what loyalty is. And that's why I miss all those guys, even though they might not be today on the long line that they were once. They're still my friend. They're still people I respect. They're still people that I would remember because they were very, very good to the great city of Lawrence. If you go to Lawrence, you have been good to me. So to Governor Deval Patrick, for all his, his support, his words of wisdom also, uh, I said thank you, Governor. And no matter how hard, how, how, how often some of my good friends in the media try to have me say something negative about some of the constitutional office holder, I will not get to that. Those are good people, people who are motivated, people who really care, people who only those of us who do what we do, who dare to be to run for office and get elected and serve. Only we know what we go through. Most of you don't. You just enjoy the game, you enjoy, enjoy the fun. And that's also your job, and I respect you for that. Well, let me tell you, public service is one of the best privileges a person can have. And I'm so glad, so honored, that a person like myself, that some of you might have been having a little bit of trouble understanding, can stand here, the home of democracy, and tell you that until a few minutes ago, as I say, I was holding three elected offices. Go around and count how many people have been able to do that. That's a privilege. You don't get to do that. By accident, you don't achieve that goal just because. You achieve that goal because you earn the trust, the respect of the people in your community. And there are the few, the critics, that refuse to see changes. To them, I'll say, God bless you. The democratic process also guarantees you that right. But I'm here to tell you, you are in the very, very minority because the country is changing, society is changing. And again, it's a great, great privilege. Three elected office at the same time. You might be asking yourself, why do I bring that up, bring that up so often? And I say, three, three. Because, as I said before, the people that I need to please, for whom I'm doing what I'm doing today, resigning for the House of Representatives, is not because of pressure from the media, it's not because of pressure from people from the outside. I'm doing it because I love all of those residents you see back there.
proud of you. I'm proud of you too. Very much. Thank you very much. Uh,